Don't want to make it a coronavirus update hour, but having a lot to do with what's happening in the markets, especially over in China right now. So you have China may cut growth target, virus update. Here are your key statistics, 361 deaths. That is more now than the SARS epidemic. Confirmed cases in the country, 17,205. China's worst stock route in 3,200 left 3,257 shares limit down. This is what I want to get into because it's pretty remarkable. We saw the numbers that I covered with China being down between about 7.7 and 8.5 percent. All but 162 of the almost 4,000 stocks recorded losses for the day with about 90 percent dropping the maximum allowed by the country's exchanges. Healthcare shares compromise most of Monday's gainers on speculation. They will benefit from the virus outbreak. So take a moment and consider that. You have every stock except for healthcare sh stocks dropping, and nine out of every 10 of them that are dropping are reaching the maximum allowed limit for the day by the exchanges. Now, with that in mind, what is tomorrow going to look like? Uh, what is the government, what is the central bank over there going to start pumping into that market? But I imagine that if they dropped the maximum allowed, we've seen this before, when China really begins to accelerate to the downside and the central bank tries to step in, imposing limits and nonetheless. So here's China's indexes, uh, excuse me, loses two key support levels within minutes. I'm going to expand this real quickly. So we have the 100-day moving average in black. We have the 200-day moving average in, call it red or orange. And you can see the gap from about 4,000 to 3,600 in a heartbeat, keeping in mind, folks, that that is just the daily limit. Who knows where actual price discovery would take place below this level if they were allowed to trade where they may. Now, we have limits in our indexes as well. It might not be per an equity. I'm not sure. We do have daily limits in terms of stop limits. I believe it's like 7%, 12%, and then 20% per a day curbs, trading curbs. But boy, oh boy, we'll see where that opens on Monday. Kind of scary stuff when you start to get into the fact. Well, it was always going to be brutal for China's $7.5 trillion stock market as investors caught up with the losses worldwide. Monday's declines were particularly severe. The CSI 300 index sank as much as 9.1%. A slump rarely seen in its almost 15-year history. The huge number of stocks trading limit down means it could take several days for investors to execute their orders, prolonging the sell-off. Keep that in mind, folks. We'll see what happens.